Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at another Teams takeaway. In this video, we're going to look at the difference between channels and private channels. So a normal channel is like a public one, and a private one you can add just individual staff members or students. So for example, in a lesson scenario or remote teaching scenario, you could have a couple of private channels with different groups in that each are working on a project, and they have their own collaboration space away from the main team. So let's have a look at private channels and public channels and the differences. Here you can see I'm just going to write into a conversation into a standard channel. Now with this, everyone within that channel will be able to see it. I can also hold meetings in general channels and open channels. Everyone will get the invite for this and can attend. So this might be useful if you want to put a meeting in or a drop-in session using the camera. You can also add open channels just to keep things organized. So in here, I'm going to choose just team one and I'm going to have this as a standard channel. Now everyone in the team will see that channel and will be a part of it. So this is useful just for topics, etc. I can also use what's called a private channel. And this becomes really useful for providing support, differentiation, or little dropping groups that you can create with just certain students from the team in it. So here you can see I can then start to add in students or teachers. So you could use this for differentiation or a drop-in channel where you can put in extra resources and information for them students. You can also use this for breakout activities. So for example, in the main room, you've got a meeting, but then you have also got in the private channel some extra support with another teacher. As you can see, private channels are listed with a padlock at the side so you know that that is a private channel that only certain people can see. So here you can see, look, I'm going to write hello test and I'm also going to add a meeting in that private channel. Now, only the students, teachers or members of staff in that private channel will have access. You could also put some specific files into a private channel so only they can see it for example, some extra support, and you can also add some tabs as well. So private channels are great for teamwork, for example. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend.